Hello and welcome back to FT Business School. For the past two decades, the mantra for business schools has been alliances. Alliances for scholarly research, for student exchange programs, and for job placements. But these days, the trendiest skills are going one step further and forming networks rather than bilateral alliances. And these networks don't just include universities, but companies and not-for-profit organisations as well. Bruno van Pottelsberg is Dean of Solvay Business School in Brussels and one of the leading lights behind one such network, QTEM. Professor van Pottelsberg, why is it now that these networks have been formed? Is it because business schools feel the need to have some global reach beyond their sort of local countries? Yes, indeed. There is a very strong need to have a global reach and there is a very strong demand for talent with analytical skills and with uh, international experience. Uh, so the network is created to exploit complementarities between universities on a global scale. So, I mean, one of the problems I would think is that you, the, the problems of quality control. So if you've got a bilateral arrangement, you can, you can uh, judge the quality, but how yeah. do you do it across a wide network of skills? Okay, the quality control is a very big issue. We have a very strong focus on that. First, there is a selection of students. We make sure that they are excellent students. And second, about the course, we select jointly the courses that are accessible during the exchange or the bilateral exchange within the network. Third, the way we select the universities, they must be top-level universities, they must be accredited, or they must be top-level universities in their countries. So we really look at that. We look at their ability to teach in English, and because QTEM is focusing on quantitative techniques, on analytical techniques, we check the availability of courses in English and in quantitative techniques for management, economics, finance, marketing. And uh, once we secure all these checks, uh, the, the new partner can come into the network. So, so companies are involved in the network as well. I mean, how does that work? What do they bring to the picture? Yes, so each academic partner must find four corporate partners, multinational partners. And we involve them from the beginning and during all the meetings, quality assessment, they are involved. They are involved in the selection of students. So when a student must be selected, it must be a top level academically. They must do a very high GMAT score and they must be selected by the companies who are members of the network. Then the companies offer internships all over the world. And uh, they, of course they offer job opportunities because they come for the possibility to recruit excellent students with excellent analytical skills so that they can contribute to decision making. With application to business schools in Europe largely flat these days, yes. what evidence is there that, that these kind of networks are helping you bring in the best students? Yes, so we do attract new students from bachelor to masters. In our school we notice that students apply from France, from Italy, from other schools in Belgium because they like uh, the selectivity, the elite approach of the network because each school has a limited number of students who can enter the network. Uh, so it really helps attracting students and we offer them a global exposure, opportunities to do internships all over the world and to be trained with very good analytical skills, quantitative skills. Right, Professor Van Pottelsberg, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. For more video interviews with business school deans, go to ft.com forward slash business education.